So this is the second video on how to prevent injuries when you're training in the gym, when you start lifting in the gym. This one is about training to a tempo, which means controlling the pace at which you lift and uh, lower the weight. So for example, if you're talking about a deadlift where you pick up the weight from the floor and lift it to your hip height and then go back down again, you don't simply explosively lift it as a beginner. You start off from the floor and you count from 1 to 5 or 1 to 8 or 1 to 10 depending on what your trainers asked you to do. So you need to have a tempo with which you lift it. You, you don't just mindlessly lift it bouncing the weight up and down. So for example, if you are doing a deadlift, you start off with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and you reach the hip and then you pause for a second, brace yourself again. And then you lower it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and you reach the floor and this has to be done slowly. I counted it much faster than I would when I am lifting. But this is an important way to prevent injuries in the future when you are starting off lifting. So the reason why this is so effective is that the longer you spend time with the weight in your hands, that's called time under tension. The more time under tension you have, the better training effect you get when you lift a weight. So you are basically trying to get stronger, you are trying to get bigger, so you would like a training effect. So this is why time under tension is important, especially when you are starting off. So that's about time under tension. Now the second part that I wanted to talk about, I had spoken about accessory muscles and stabilizer muscles in my previous video and uh, you will have to go back and look at it. So the accessory muscles are trained best when you move slowly so that they can take signals from all parts of that range of motion. So if you are just starting from the bottom, lifting to the top and going straight back down again and it's going fast, it's not, it's your, your nervous system is not going to be able to pick up those signals from those joints fast enough to educate your stabilizer muscles properly. So in order to train your stabilizer muscles properly, it is good to start moving slowly with weights in the beginning. And once you get you get good at stabilizing and you train your stabilizers and your accessory muscles well, that's when you start to move faster. So in the beginning, move slow. Now the third part is, when you're moving slowly, you could be in front of a mirror or you could be in front of a trainer. And if you are moving slowly, you can see the problems in form that you have and you can correct yourself better. Um, you can, you, your trainer has a better chance of picking up your mistakes and uh, correcting you. So moving slowly has the third benefit that I am talking about. So this is why you should be training slowly when you start training in the gym. You should keep your ego outside the gym and you should start moving slowly. People are going to make fun of you or they might they might wonder why you are moving so slowly. Are you so weak that you are moving that slowly? But no, the idea is to stay safe and train long term. And getting injured in the beginning is not a good idea. So which is why move slow when you start training with weights in the beginning. Thank you.